In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through some morning routine stretches to help relieve pain and stiffness. If you've ever felt like waking up in the morning, you're all achy and in pain, this routine is gonna be amazing for you. It only takes a few minutes, it's gonna activate your entire body, and as we go through it, I'm actually gonna tell you about some of the science and some of the metabolic benefits of doing this exact routine. Now before I begin the first exercise and stretch, I just wanna say that it's really important to understand your sleeping position because many people wake up with a lot of pain because they're sleeping in a weird position. The ideal sleeping position, if possible, is kind of like on your back with everything in neutral position. So if you're someone who knows that your sleeping is causing you pain, meaning a limb is falling asleep, you're consistently waking up with a hurt elbow or hurt neck, then anything you can do to optimize your exact bedroom setup is gonna be really, really good and train yourself to sleep in a better position. Now we woke up and we're ready to get going. When we wake up in the morning, our body is naturally stiff because we haven't been moving around. We don't have as much blood flow, muscles have not been active, and we actually need to activate the muscles and get our lymphatic fluid flowing. This is some of the waste disposal system of the body. And the best first exercise we're gonna start is some light bouncing on your toes while breathing through your nose. So I'm gonna begin doing this and talking to you about this. So basically, just get on your toes with a shoulder wrist stance, Breathe through the nose, out through the nose, or out through the mouth, but definitely in through the nose, and begin bouncing on the balls of your feet. This is an ancient exercise from a practice called Qigong that basically activates the body. It's doing this gentle kind of shaking motion, and if you do this for continuously for about one minute and two minutes while breathing, you're gonna find that you feel very active and awake. And what's cool about this is certainly it's moving lymphatics and getting some blood going, but it's also training your, your brain to get more active because you have to balance on the toes of your feet. And so just this light bouncing, allow those arms and shoulders to be kind of loosey-goosey and do this for about a minute while breathing through your nose. This will activate you. And this is something you do throughout the day. Anytime you're feeling stiff or you've been working for a while, just shake it out, do some light bouncing. It activates the system in a really good way while breathing through your nose. After you've about done about a minute of that or as long as you wanna do, we're gonna to start to open up the top of the shoulder girdle and really get us into proper posture. So the first thing I want you to do is do some shoulder pinches. So I want you to feel like you're pinching your shoulders back like this and hold that squeeze for about five seconds. Three, four, five, release. Do it again. One, two, three, four, Five. So I'm taking my shoulder blades and I'm pulling them back together and you can even play with what it looks like in that back position and move them up and down. What we want to do is open that chest and get the stuff going just like this for a couple sets of pinches. Now we're going to do some shoulder openers. So about five or ten of these in each direction. As you're doing, I want you to focus on your shoulder joint making a nice circle, smooth circle in a backwards motion, not too fast. Look at the speed I'm going. I'm going at such a speed that my muscles are able to control my shoulder joint and move in both directions. Now you're gonna move the shoulders in the other direction. The reason this is effective is because of the pecs, the lats, the rotator cuff, all these muscles must become active and synchronized while doing this to keep that shoulder in a healthy position. It's also lubricating your joints. So we've really done some good work on the whole body with the bouncing and the upper body with the scapular pinches and the shoulder circles. You can also take a belt or a band and do some bigger ones like this if you'd like to, but the sufficiency of five to 10 front and back are really good. Now we're gonna head to the floor for the hip series. So now we're on the floor and we're on the floor. The first thing I want you to do is take your low back and if there's space underneath here, I want you to compress that space, flatten the low back. This means tilting your pelvis down like this so there's no space for my arm to go underneath. This gets that pelvis in that nice position. We're gonna start off by doing a couple glute bridges, which is fantastic for getting the lower leg musculature and the glutes to coordinate. It's gonna help release that low back. So you bridge up, squeeze your glutes, stretch the quads, come on down. We're gonna do about 10 of these glute bridges. Boom, right here. And this may seem like an exercise for the glutes, but it's really stretching and opening that low back too and getting that nice spinal alignment while you activate the glutes. So about 10 reps of these. Breathing through your nose and out through your nose. I'll do a couple more for the demo. Really focus on squeezing those glutes and pushing that arch nice and high and squeeze for a second. Come on down. Keep on going a few more reps. And now we'll say, this is my last rep and I'm at 10 right here, boom the down. So now when we're in this position, we're gonna do some windshield wipers where you're gonna still maintain that nice position where there's not room in the low back and you're gonna windshield wiper here and then you're gonna allow the hips to come to the other side. Allow those legs just to be nice and heavy and just to gradually come over to the side. 
The hips may move with that, so you can see that I'm kind of rolling onto my hip. That's totally fine. We're looking at just creating a little motion and play in that low back in the morning to get things woken up in a gentle way. So I'd say just like the shoulder circles, we did five each direction. We'll do around five each direction of these hip openers and nice and gentle in your low back, just getting some blood flow and some nice motion. Now our final part of the hip series is we're gonna do a single leg uh, pull in. So I'm gonna grab my top leg here. I'm gonna pull it in just like this. And in this position, I'm gonna begin to flex my toe up and down like this and work my ankle while taking some deep breaths. We're creating compression in the hip and we're doing just right here. We're coming in just like this, good compression on down. Other leg, we draw it in right here. Nice compression, move the ankle, maybe get some creaks and cracks and popping, that is good. Wake that ankle up, take some deep breaths, feel the compression. Now we're good on the hip series. You can see that only took a few minutes. Now we're gonna move on to our next two exercises. One of them is gonna be a bird dog. This is a little more active. So we're gonna get into uh, this hands and knees quadruped position. So hands are underneath the shoulders, roughly shoulder width. Knees are kind of in line with the hands. Now with the bird dog, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my right arm and my left leg out into a line. And I'm pushing through my left arm and my left knee and I'm creating length in the spine. Coming on down, other side. This requires some balance and some muscular coordination. Now when we're relieving pain, it's not always just about stretching, it's about getting different muscles to become activated. This is a very effective mo move for getting that core activated and really coordinating with both the hips and the shoulders that we intentionally woke up with those previous motions. So around five each side, a couple more, create length in that spine. Do one more each side, right on down. The last one here. Now the final bit of our series is we're gonna drop back into child's pose, which is a great pose for relaxing the back. So I'm gonna get slightly wider at the hips. My two big toes touch. I'm gonna sit back here, walk my hands out, and put my head on the mat, and take about 10 breaths right here. Allowing that spine to lengthen, maybe even walking the fingers out even further to get that even greater stretch. Maybe rocking a little bit, just like this. Lengthen the spine, open up the hips, about 10 breaths here. And we are done. So, the thing I love about this particular routine is that literally that whole thing from start to finish might take under five minutes, maybe even three minutes. We start with the bouncing, you breathe through your nose, and then we move on into the shoulder openers with the shoulder pinches, five forward, five backwards. Then we drop down into the hip series, start with the bridges, and maybe do 10 of those. Five each side of the windshield wipers of the legs to get those hips going. Then we move into those active bird dogs, and finally child's pose. You do this, we've hit your spine your shoulders, we've bounced to move lymphatic fluid, we worked on the hips, even the ankles when we did those compressions. Like this is a super simple routine, but it's really gonna get you active. And yes, you can use this in the morning, but I would also say it's a good thing to do is a little bit of work break. So you wanna get your body a little more vitalized, you wanna get your breath going a little bit, get your body active in between long stretches of work or sitting. This is a wonderful routine to do. There's many other great stretches and exercises besides these, but man, you do this, it's gonna be really beneficial. Hope you enjoyed this video today, my friend. If you like this, hit the thumbs up and actually try this. I mean, I love that you watch this video and you enjoy it and you get more information, but what I really care about is that you apply this stuff into your life. So literally do this, and if you do do this, comment below and say, I did this, Dr. A, it felt great, or this is what I noticed, I'd love to hear from you as well. And of course, if you enjoy this type of stuff and you want access to all of our videos, subscribe to our channels. Between the two channels, we're getting close to having a million subscribers in between Fit Father and Fit Mother, which is amazing. I'm so grateful for that, and I want more people to get this information, come into our community, so hit subscribe, join our family here on YouTube, and I'll see you around future videos, and I'll talk to you very soon.